Hi, my name is Rick from Pinecone, and today I'll be going through a brief demo of how to get started on our platform. I'll be walking through how to create an index, load data, and execute a query. So let's get started. What we have here is a Pinecone one-on-one -on -one notebook. And the first thing we're going to do in this notebook is execute the pip install commands. So we have the libraries needed. So here we're installing all the libraries that we're gonna need, the Pinecone client and the Pinecone notebooks uh, library also. Now we're gonna follow that up with executing the import statements. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna import the required Python libraries. And for this, we need a pinecone key. So here I'm gonna use my pinecone key. I authorize that. That's loaded. And now I'm gonna create a connection to pinecone serverless and also define the uh, index name that we're gonna be using. Here we create an index. So what this code does is it checks if the index is existing. If it's not existing, we'll create it. And now I'm gonna get the data. So this data set is a sample data set of doctor's notes. So it includes notes from doctors uh, specific to patients, and then we're going to do a search query later against those notes. Choosing the file that I'm going to import. All right, now we took the head of that file, so we're seeing the first few records. Notice that the data set is already embedded. So this is some of the embeddings uh, for that data set. And then here we have some metadata. Now let's go ahead and upsert that data. Here we're using this upsert function to upsert the specific data frame. This helps us run more efficiently and much faster because the data frame is in the format that we want for the absurd objects. Now I'm gonna embed the query. So I'm using a embedding model from Hug and Face. That's the embedding model I'm gonna be utilizing. And now I'm gonna embed this query. So in order to perform a search against embedded data, I need to also embed the query. So embedded the query and executed the search. And now we're getting the top three results. And here are the top three results based on that query. The query was about knee pain. So what if my patient has knee pain? Based on that data set, we're going to get results for that query. As you can see, these scores are pretty high because the metadata includes knee in, in, in the search criteria, basically. So the metadata coming back includes knee in the results, and that's why these uh, results are so high. And then we also have a, a less... Uh, a lower matched result for just general joint pain. So pretty quick demo. Again, what we did was created an index, loaded some embedded data, in this case, doctor notes, and then executed a query based on that embedded data. Thank you.